But you said, George, that the next big controversy is Guantanamo. The next big controversy is the mounting evidence showing that torture was used to extract evidence to create a link, a false link, between Saddam Hussein and Al Qaeda. That, one, that is a crucial area of investigation. Let me, let me try to give a little Another more context here, and then need... let Liz respond. There. I I some... two, well, two let me just say, explain to the viewers what Katrina's a little more context on what she's talking about. There were some reports this week that the vice president's office, actually, back in 2003, in April of 2003, I believe, sent some sort of word to uh, Iraq that a, a detaining in custody should be waterboarded uh, in order to get information to establish whether there was a connection between Iraq and al-Qaeda or more information on weapons of mass destruction. Your response? Well, two things. It's easy to sit here inside the beltway and say, gosh, no problem to put terrorists in Colorado. And I think, frankly, the people in Colorado would have something to say to that to object. Uh, on this particular allegation, you know, nobody who's talking about this in the press has any knowledge of specific detainee treatment. And you saw the CIA yesterday come out and say, absolutely, unequivocally, waterboarding was not used to establish this kind of a link. I have not now, seen it. Yeah. Well, you should read the post yesterday. But, 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 but let me just, no, I want to press, I, I want to press no, one thing there, George, because there, there was a report. This. No, but I, I, you've report. explained one part of it. I just want to ask you to explain another part of it. The report, though, that the vice president's office did ask yes. specifically to have information about Iraq al-Qaeda connections um, presented to this uh, detainee. Do you deny that? I think that it's important for us to have all the facts out. And, and the first and most important fact is that the vice president has been absolutely clear that he supported this program. This was an important program. It saved American lives. Now, the way this policy worked internally was once the policy was determined and decided, the CIA you know, made the judgments about how each individual detainee would be treated. And uh, the vice president would not substitute his own judgment for the professional not judgment no one in his of office the CIA. Either? So I think it's very important for us to look at exactly what the facts are. And the facts are that three people were waterboarded. Um, the people that are, you know, claims to be waterboarded in these articles are not any of those people. And I think, frankly, you've also got to look at the source of some of these allegations. And one of the big sources is, you know, Colonel Wilkerson. Now, Colonel Wilkerson gets coverage um, because of his associations with General Powell. Former chief and of staff has made a cottage industry out of, you know, fantasies about the vice well, president. Well, he's not the only he one reporting it, but it's good to get your answer. We're going to have to take a break.